everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marvel Draw channel, and in today's video, I'll show you how I take all of the passages that I've highlighted in a Kindle book, and I either stick them in Evernote or format them for Google Sheets. So it probably won't surprise you, based on my penchant for paperless everything, that I prefer to read books on a Kindle. I still miss some things about physical books, but for me, the benefits of reading on a Kindle far outweigh them. In particular, I like the search function and the highlight function. Since I do all of my reading in bed, or almost all of my reading in bed, I really like not having to wrestle with a highlighting pen and a heavy book while reclining. So you may have noticed, if you highlight like I do, that even when you're on the Kindle app for iPad, you can't just copy and paste passages of a book that you want to share, probably for copyright reasons. That said, what Amazon does have is a unique website for you that compiles all of your highlights per book. And since this is just a regular web page, you can cut and paste from here. So here are three reasons why I use this site. Number one, to share quotes. Sometimes I want to share a great quote from a book that I'm reading and the app won't let me copy and paste it into a text message. I go into this website and I can copy and paste to my heart's content. Number two, Evernote book notes. So I think I've mentioned how terrible my memory is. I like to read, but I tend not to retain much unless I've made notes about the book. So I keep a notebook in Evernote dedicated to books and articles that I've read, but it takes me forever to summarize a book that I've read properly. So sometimes I cheat and I just create a note that contains all of the passages that I've highlighted. It takes a fraction of the time and depending on how quotable the book is, sometimes it works even better. And number three, research papers. Since I've gone back to grad school, sometimes I need passages from a book for a research paper. For example, right now I'm doing a paper that uses a book by Anne Fadiman as a case study. I read it on the Kindle, highlighted a ton of passages, and now I want to put all of them into a Google spreadsheet so I can categorize the quotes for use in my paper. So let me show you how to do this. First, you'll need to go to a browser on your computer and sign into the Amazon account that you use on your Kindle. Now navigate to this website. I'll put this in the comment section below as well. So first let's cover Evernote since it's more straight over, straightforward. Start selecting where it says yellow highlight for the first time and select all the way to the end. And then you're going to copy that by right clicking and hitting copy or doing control C. Now open a new note in Evernote and paste by either right clicking and hitting paste or doing control V. Now I don't love all of this extra text, so I get rid of it. I copy this text um, right here. I go to edit, then find and replace, and I choose replace within note, and I paste in this text strings. I'm basically deleting this, so I don't want to put anything in the replace with field. Now I'll click on replace all, and it looks like this. So much cleaner, right? If you don't even want the location numbers, I'll show you how to get rid of them, but it takes a little more doing. Okay, now let's do Google Sheets, which is a little bit more complicated, but it gives you some more options to manipulate the information, like, like removing those location numbers. Okay, so do the th same thing that we did before. Copy all your highlights and create a new Google Sheet by going into Google Drive and choosing New and then Google Sheets. Now paste in your notes. You can see the formatting is kind of a mess. Um, okay, so we're going to clean this up, so you're going to need to bear with me a little bit. First of all, let's get rid of the extraneous text like we did in Evernote. Go up to the first cell and select everything up to that number, including the space just before the number. Okay, now copy that. Now go into Edit, Find and Replace, and paste that text string into the Find field. So you're going to leave the Replace um, field blank, because we're deleting basically, and hit Replace All. Okay. So already looking better, right? So now I want um, location number and quote on the same row so that when I sort the spreadsheet that they will move together. So here's how we're gonna make that happen. This only works if you only have highlights. If you also have some notes stuck in there, you're gonna need to take those out. So in order to do this, go down to where you have a note and select that row plus the row above it so that the, um, the spacing is consistent. Now right click and delete those rows. Okay. Go back up to the top of the sheet. You're going to start selecting where the very first um, text appears and select all the way down to the end of the content like this. Okay, now hit copy, not cut. 
Now go back up to the top and put your cursor in the cell just to the right of the first number, cell B1. Okay, now paste. Okay, so we have the page numbers and the quotes together, right? We just have to get rid of all these duplicate and blank rows. So you're going to hit the square right here, um, and this selects the whole worksheet when you hit that. Then go to Data, Sort Range, and Sort by Column A. Then scroll down and start selecting the rows right after the numbers stop, okay, and delete all of those duplicate rows. So see what we have now? Clever, right? So now you can clean this up this worksheet by changing the column width, you can wrap the text, and you can add a header row if you want. And if you want, you can delete the location number column and paste this back into Evernote with quotes only. Um, when I use this for research, I add another column that indicates what section of the paper this quote can be used for, and then I sort them by section for when I'm writing. I love this feature of Kindle Books. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.